Are you walked out of the ring after beating Jose Cinco Lopez? Oh. When you walked out of the ring after the Lopez fight, did you ever think that you would go into a Mayweather fight off of that win? Well, you know what, man? Like I say, a lot of people just don't understand and don't get it. Like, I feel that... You know, I've always felt that this fight, you know, happened. Of course, you know, a lot of people thought it probably should have happened, you know, a few years back. But um, but I've always felt that it was a fight that he wanted to get off his chest. They were the Yeah, yeah, I believe so. And, 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 and I've always known that, you know, as long as I came back, you know, strong in a certain situation, that would be a fight that he would be, you know, I mean, I mean likely to get, you know, as well. So, I mean, you obviously were at a straight, tough point in your career. You yeah. lose instead of a cross, yeah, you hurt your yeah, shoulder. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. There's a question whether you're going to be yeah, in a big fight again. Yeah, yeah. So what, yeah, that's the crazy thing about it, man. It's, it, it was almost, I mean, it was almost eerie for me. You know what I'm saying? Just, 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 you know, just coming up as a hot prospect and, and, and just dominating and making my way up to the division. And, 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 and me... You know, being in all the talks of fighting Mayweather, fighting Floyd, fighting Floyd, and they throw the Ortiz situation at me. You know, didn't take it serious. You know, being a young fighter, being not respecting this boxing game, you know, I lose. And, you know, I see Floyd is there ringside with everybody else. You know, I lose. I come back, same thing. You know, Guerrero fight. Get stunned in my eye early in the fight. Both my eyes shut. Still trying to fight my way through because I'm trying to figure it out what the, what the fuck is going on. And these are people that I know and a lot of other people know that, that I should have been. I'm going in cross fight. Never really had a serious, serious injury in my life. Tear my shoulder and stuff. I don't know what's going on. So it really, I mean, it's everything just. I mean, it's everything just kind of just shook me up. Everything just, it seemed like it happened at a point that I just didn't understand. You know what I mean? So everything just forced me just to sit my ass down for a good, you know, eight to nine months. Sling them on, trying to figure out what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Andre, what year was it? Or when was it that you thought you were really in line to fight drugs? I know he mentioned you as a possible yeah. opponent after. Yeah. Was it the Marcus yeah, was, fight? Was it? Uh, Oh, 2011. Was it? Yeah, yeah, 2011. 2011. Yeah, so, uh, like I said, man, just going through that process, you know, it just forced me just to, just to sit my butt down and reevaluate everything. Reevaluate life, reevaluate you know, my career, my focus. What conclusion did you come to after that evaluation? Ah, oh, man, I had to, you know, I basically just learned a lot about myself. I definitely learned a lot about myself and I definitely, uh, uh, you know, I didn't have, you know, much to do sitting in the house. I just, like I said, I spent a lot of time in church as well, you know, just trying to, just trying to look for answers, you know what I mean? And, and, and uh, you know, just the fact that me just coming back from the shoulder surgery, which was one of the toughest things I had to go through, going through that rehab for eight months. I mean, nobody cannot tell me anything that I can't. I can't.